Hello, my name is Dr. David Archer, and I will be discussing the results of this Phase 2A proof of concept study investigating the gonadotropin releasing hormone antagonist Elagolix in the management of heavy menstrual bleeding associated with uterine fibroids. Uterine fibroids are the most common benign tumors affecting reproductive age women. And although patients are often asymptomatic, the disease can present with heavy menstrual bleeding, which is the primary indication for hysterectomy. These tumors are estrogen and progesterone dependent, and hormonal modulation is a mainstay in the management of the disease. However, there is no FDA-approved long-term treatment for heavy menstrual bleeding in women with fibroids in the United States. The serum levels of estradiol and progesterone are tightly controlled by the hypothalamic pituitary axis. Hypothalamic gonadotropin-releasing hormone is secreted in a pulsatile manner from the hypothalamus. After binding to receptors in the anterior pituitary gland, the two gonadotropins, luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone, are secreted into the peripheral circulation and stimulate the ovaries to produce estradiol and progesterone. Elagolix is an orally active non-peptide gonadotropin-releasing hormone antagonist that leads to a dose-dependent suppression of gonadotropins and sex steroids. This hormonal suppression is rapid and reversible, and the degree of suppression can be controlled by varying the dose. The objective of this study was to evaluate the safety and efficacy of elagolix versus placebo with a combination of low-dose estradiol and progestogen as add-back treatment. Reproductive-aged women with a diagnosis of heavy menstrual bleeding due to uterine fibroids were treated with various doses of elagolix with or without add-back versus placebo for three months. It is worthwhile to note that this is the first study to evaluate estradiol and progestogen add-back therapy in combination with either a gonadotropin-releasing hormone agonist or antagonist in women with uterine fibroids. The menstrual blood loss, measured by the alkaline hematin method, decreased in a statistically significant dose-dependent manner compared to placebo with the 300 milligram, 200 milligram, and 100 milligram twice daily doses of elagolix. The add-back did not alter the decrease in menstrual blood loss compared to elagolix alone. Given its mechanism of action, it was not unexpected that hot flushes were the most common adverse event associated with elagolix. 56% of patients in the placebo arm experienced an adverse event in this trial. With higher rates of adverse events in all of the elagolix treatment arms, except one of the ADBAC regimens. ADBAC regimens appeared to decrease the rate of hot flushes as well as the discontinuation rate. In conclusion, Elagolix is an oral non-peptide gonadotropin-releasing hormone antagonist that suppresses the pituitary ovarian axis and significantly reduces the amount of menstrual bleeding in the study participants. Of the study dosing regimens, the 300 milligram dose taken twice daily had the greatest efficacy. Indeed, this dose was selected for the subsequent phase 2b and phase 3 studies. Hypoestrogenic effects were seen in a dose-dependent manner. However, the add-back regimens reduced the extent of hot flushes with minimal impact on bleeding. Consequently, Elagolix is a promising medical treatment for heavy menstrual bleeding associated with uterine fibroids that warrants further study in phase 2b and phase 3 clinical trials of greater duration. Mm -hmm.